Hi everybody, so we did do this a while ago, but I have no idea where they went to, so we're going to redo it. Now, some stuff you need. The first thing is an old Venetian blind. I've obviously got this one still in its packet that I've had for about 12 years, and the slats are plastic, which is important. Then we need a bunch of tape. This is electrician's PVC tape. This is masking tape, and this is gorilla tape. It's actually a gaffer tape. It's a waterproof plastic cloth tape and this is actually key so any tape will do as long as it's water resistant as long as it's plastic coated and as long as it's pretty strong and this stuff as i say it's got a cloth weave but gaffer tape fulfills all those requirements i just use gorilla tape because it's here and it's pretty cool so what we do is get this out the box and separate out those slats. So what we get is, in my case, 75 slats and we knock those into line and bind them together with a bit of your electrician's tape. And bind them quite tightly into a nice block. There we go, and just go down there about four or five times. There you go, now we need to cut it off at 45 degrees. So stick it in the saw and saw it off. We've done that. Swap it round, choose some random number, I don't know, 16 centimetres, it really doesn't matter, 16 here, and so I'll use that, line it up, and then saw it the other way. So in no time at all, you'd end up with a whole load like that. Now, they do have a slight problem. They are uh, Venetian blinds, they've got a curl to them, and we want to take that curl out because it's PVC, just stick it in some greaseproof paper and run an iron over it once twice and that'll take the curl out and you'll end up with the load like this now you need to decide how big it's going to be and i'm going to put 20 of these aside they're going to be square so it's four sides so i've got 80 of these ready and now what we need to do is lay them out okay i've got 20 of them all laid out and a bit of steel bar on top and now a bit of masking tape onto the edges to hold them all in place when our masking tape is down, we can take the bar away, and this is where this marvellous stuff comes in. What we'll do is take a strip of that and put that down the centre. And we've done that, both sides. We get this, and we can use that as a template to build the rest. So we put a bit, another bit of this on, but this time overlapping those edges. Flip it over, and we began with a long side here. So the next bit we put on is going to be that way up, going in there, and it'll be a short side. And you continue up. Okay, so we've done all of that. Now we put a last piece on, wrap it around a bit of two before, stick it down, because we're going to need to join up those edges so we need to fix these edges to do that so I'll stick that down then I can curl this around match them up stick it down tape it up and when you've done that that's what you'll get now it feels hardly like a tube of leatherette and you'll see the zigzags that have been formed in each line and we now need to fold that up so we look for the zigzags because they'll be the um, square shape and press both sides and it should start to form and you can see it beginning to form there so we go around that, pressing that one in, one out. And that's where it looks like all folded up. <laughs> it feels really nice and robust. The fillets that we put in there, they um, help the strength actually. This will handle a fair bit of pressure, but if you want more pressure, then you make those fillets thicker. So, you know, use oak or something like that, or maybe even metal. But that'll handle quite a bit of pressure anyway. Of course, what we want to do now is block off the ends. And to block off the ends, well, we just cut a bit of something. I mean, you know, plywood, MDF, I'm using this plastic board board here. The plastic board will go in there and we'll tape all the way around it. And you see there's a hole in it. It's a hole in it to let the air in and out. On this side of one it's a blank sheet that we fit a handle or something. But that just gets put in there and then we tape around the edges using our Gorilla Tape and that'll be a good enough seal. <laughs> put a nozzle on it. That's the basis, actually, of a surprising amount. They do use bellows as water pumps, and this was used as a vacuum cleaner, and it shifts a surprising amount of air, actually. Oh, that's nice. 
Actually, you could use it as a low energy um, air conditioning unit because it's meant to shift air and it shifts a huge volume relatively easily. But that's how to go about making bellows. They're very, very useful for a whole host of things beyond just getting your fire lighted. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.